Hello, my name is Rafaniel. I'm with Stamper Signings. We're a nationwide notary service that schedules signings and closings nationwide. I'm going to give notaries the top three keys to avoid being blacklisted by clients and signing services. Number one is being on time. The majority of the notaries that we partner with are on time for their signings, but we've had a few notaries before that were wasn't on time and they and the client was left wondering if that notary was going to no show the signing. So if you're a notary that may be potentially late and you have a and you're leaving a signing um, later than expected, what you want to do is you want to give your clients a heads up. And the reason why you want to give them a heads up because you don't want to leave them in the dark and you want to be respectful of their time. So be on time. That's the first start. Number two is once you do arrive to the client's home, make sure you respect their home. Uh, I live in California and we're a melting a melting pot of different different groups of people. And those groups of people have different customs and different values. And one thing that I've noticed is when I'm going into a client's home is they may have shoes sitting outside of their home or they may have shoes that's sitting on a rack inside their house. And one of the things I like to ask is, would you prefer for me to take my shoes off when I step into your home? Because some of the homes that we're going into are very nice. You don't want to just walk in there with your dirty shoes. I'm not saying that your shoes are dirty, but you know, you pick up things along the way and you just want to be respectful of their home. And it's just a polite thing to ask. Now, there are some situations where a signer or the or the signer may have uh wear like socks for your shoes, so that way you don't have to take your shoes off in their house. And number three, you want to be receptive when you're going into a client's home. There are most, most times the signers are going to ask you if you would like a bottle of water, would you like a soda or would you like a juice? Uh, be receptive. Even if you don't drink soda, even, even if you don't drink juice, be polite enough to say, yes, I would definitely take a bottle of water. Thank you. I really appreciate you for asking. And the last thing that I like to do was once, once the signing has been completed, always like to follow up and ask, how was your signing experience with us? Was there anything that I could have done to be, to be, to be better today? And the client would then give me their feedback. And then I then follow up by saying, thank you for your feedback. That really helps us out. I want to thank you for your hospitality and your patience during the signing. I know this is not an easy process to sit through, so I appreciate you for asking. And then I lay out the following steps so that way I make sure the clients are comfortable and they have a peace of mind knowing where their where their important and sensitive documents will be headed to, whether they're uh, getting sent to uh, the title office or if they're going to the attorney's office. So those are the top three things that you can do. Be respectful of your client's home, be on time, and just be polite. If you can do those three things consistently sign for signing after signing, you're not going to be uh, blacklisted and you're going to be a preferred notary for a majority of your clients moving forward. So if you're a notary that's watching this video today and you would like to join our team to book more estate plan signings and book more closings, make sure you click the link in the bio to join our network. And otherwise, we're looking forward to seeing you soon. And remember, if you want to downright the first time, call us the first time. Thank you and have a blessed day.